Hey everyone, welcome back. So, it is cold outside <laughs> right now. Um, tis the season for cold weather. Not looking forward to it, to be honest. <laughs> but, something that comes with cold weather is also dry skin. I don't know about anyone else, but I get super dry skin and super dry hair during the winter season, <laughs> you know, which is not fun because, you know, peeling and and flaky. And... So for today's video, I really wanted to talk about products for your skin and your hair that I have found that helps beat the dryness a little bit and really gets less flaky. <laughs> and the key word here is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Did I mention moisturize? It is one of the most important things to combat flaky, dry skin. Trust me on that. <laughs> right now, I am going to go through uh, some products that I have tried and tested over the years, helped me beat my dry skin, and that I will most definitely be using um, in the next upcoming months. Because, you know, winter. Fun stuff. So I'm going to start with body first, and the first thing that you really need to do is moisturize, like I said. I use the Suave, this is Smoothing with Cocoa Butter and Shea, uh, softens rough, dry skin. And pretty much anything with Cocoa Butter and Shea um, is almost guaranteed to help with dry skin. And it comes in this nice big bottle, it lasts forever, and you just put it on, you know, after after you take a shower, or pretty much whenever, you can use it on your hands or everywhere on your body, which I think is really nice. And I really like suave stuff, so um, I highly recommend this stuff. Oh, I just hit my ear. Yeah, I highly recommend this. And the next body product, is um, my trusty Bath and Body Works lotion. Love this stuff. This is the warm vanilla sugar one. It has shea and vitamin E. So again, very moisturizing for dry skin. And it smells really nice, which you know is an extra added plus. Good. Um, one of the most important parts of dry skin is the face skin. That is generally where I get a lot of my dry patches, which love a good dry patch. <laughs> it's very important to moisturize your face skin. The way to do that is to use a mask at least once a week. If you have really dry skin, maybe more. Really been loving this brand. It's called Pacifica, and this is the Vital Immersion Deep Hydration Mask. Um, and it's supposed to super hydrate and replenish your skin, which I have had a really bad time with recently. And I found that, because you just put a thin layer on and you can either leave it on for 30 minutes or you can leave it on overnight for like super intense hydration. I found that this really makes my skin so smooth. I'm not even just saying that because I love it, but it makes my skin so smooth. Not tested on animals, which is also a really nice plus that I like. Pretty natural ingredients in this, so nothing too harsh. Also good for sensitive skin, which I also do have. So I highly recommend you go check this out. Some face washes can leave your skin very dry and like stretchy and clingy. Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. So recently I've been using this uh, Neutrogena Deep Clean Cream Cleanser. I use it in the shower so it's like sopping wet. It's really good to help improve your complexion. It's very like, what's the word? It's very creamy like the title suggests. It says that it's supposed to remove dead skin cells that can dry, roughen, and dull your complexion. Sign me up. Uh, the next product that I've been liking is the Avena Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser. So again, it gently cleanses skin, sensitive skin, without over drying. So it doesn't strip your skin of natural oils that it needs, but it also cleans and gets rid of dead skin cells and makeup and 
all that sort of stuff that we don't want on our skin. And yeah, I've really been liking that a lot too. And then, to go on top of that, I've been using this Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with sunscreen. An added bonus, love it. Always need a good moisturizer to start the day. <laughs> I like the Olay stuff, it's worked out quite well for me. So that is all of my skin, body, face products. Now we will move on into my favorite products for my hair. And I got quite a selection of products. Um, the first really good thing that I think you need to battle dry hair is a good conditioner. And I really like this stuff. I just found this out like maybe two months ago. I tried it for the first time. Ah! Almost fell. <laughs> Aveeno Nourish and Moisturize Conditioner and it's proven to nourish dry and damaged hair. This stuff works really well. I love it. It smells really nice. It makes your hair so soft. It deep conditions it and it's good on color treated hair which is nice because um, I do have color treated hair and I don't know it just makes your hair feel so nice and soft and silky and hydrated which is everything that I look for in a conditioner basically so you should definitely try this one out I like it next product if you are battling dry hair a product that you most definitely need in your toolbox is a hair mask and right now I'm using the Redken Extreme Strength Builder Plus. It is a fortifying mask for highly distressed hair. Um, if I open it up, it smells, it kind of smells like candy, which is a bit weird. I like, I like the smell. Oh, got some on my nose. So I've used quite a bit of it. Kind of depends on the length of your hair, the length and thickness. So this has lasted me quite a while, um, but I just leave it on when I'm in the shower or something and just rinse it out afterwards and I found that my hair feels really silky smooth um, after I use this and I probably use this about once a week maybe once a week um, I don't use it every day um, I do use you know conditioner every time I wash my hair all the time all the time <laughs> oh a shower without conditioning my hair um, I just use this once a week. Works fine, works well. Last important thing that I think you need is a nice leave-in treatment, leave-in conditioner. And one that I have really liked um, is from the same brand, Redken, and it's the Extreme Anti-Snapped Anti-Breakage Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. Quite a mouthful. It's in the same line as the hair mask that I just talked about. It has the same smell and everything like that. Um, so I just put this in my hair after I'm done um, washing it. You can leave it in and it's supposed to provide heat protection um, and protection against breakage and split ends. All the sort of things that we like in hair products, don't we? So yeah, I really like that stuff. So I'm sorry I rambled on and on and on about all those products, but I genuinely do love them. I use them on a daily basis, all day, every day. Particularly um, when I have, when I'm getting dry skin. You now I can tell if I don't use it for a while because it's just not the same. Your skin kind of turns like flaky and not good stuff. So I hope that you try those out. Um, let me know what you think of them, or if you have any good dry skin products or dry hair products, let me know down below because I'm always looking for new products to try and test out, you know, I'm a product junkie, what can I say? Thank you guys so much for watching, um, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time, bye!